So I've been working on my backyard over the last few months, ever since about September, October, something like that. And so what I've done is be able to install a pergola system over, the, over my house. You know, I've, I've built this pergola. And then I had some leftover wood and I built an herb plant and I built some stairs. And I still had some leftover wood and thought, well, I thought I would build me an outdoor grill. A little outdoor kitchen that I can put my uh, Kamado Joe in. I can have a little built-in uh, grill. And so I ended up getting some uh, travertine rock and putting in there. And then I had a friend who gave me some, uh, get, who installed my granite for me. Uh, this is a leather finished material. There's a nice outdoor look and feel to the, to the outdoors, which I like. It doesn't get quite as hot, I don't think. But if you, look in, if you look at it compared to the rest of my wood, it's just a little bit light. Just a little bit light in color, as you can see. So I went to 10X and I got me some Ager, which is a nice color enhancer. And also I got t Pux Q, which is a UV resistant uh, dye. And that you mix it in with the Ager, you can pour it on the material, let it set, pour the Ager on top. Or what you can do is what I've done here. Okay, so I had a little piece of cutout, and then this was the original color here, as you can see here. This is just the ager uh, applied to the material. And then I started taking and adding a little bit of T-Pox Q Brown in different stages, add a little bit, add a little bit more. Then I started adding more. Letting, and then as you can see, as you go around, you end up getting it darker and darker and darker. So it's just a matter of determining how much t Pox Q Brown that I wanted to add to it to give me the color that I want. Compared to the original, and I can go brown. And so of course I make no decisions. My wife says she kind of likes something in this color here, which is a really nice color. Um, brings out the nice browns into the material. And we think that that's gonna match very nicely with our travertine and our wood look and our Western Redwood Cedar. So we have here, after mixing up this material, here's the ager with the T-Pox Q mixed. I just inserted in and I was kind of measuring by how much um, T-Pox Q I put in there. And these are the two sides that will go in on my, on my sides back in here on each side of that. So we're gonna try this. And basically the way you apply it is you'll take the mixture, put it, pour it onto the material, you let it set for about five minutes, five to eight minutes, and then wipe off your excess. And then it will permanently leave it like this. As you can see, there's no thing coming off of there. And I will do one more thing after it gets all cured and dried, which will be tomorrow, will be to come back over top with 10X Pro Seal and apply the Pro Seal on top of it. And that will lock everything in to make it last uh, for a very, very, very long time.